everyone, Jay Staples, Sober Caddy, Sober Caddy Chronicles, and uh, let's talk uh, what I build. I always talk about authenticity, vulnerability, connection. Just uh, just got out of uh, talking with with someone I'm working with, and uh, he uh, he laughed and then said, "You know what? I finally understand how vulnerability leads to connection." So he's been he said he's been fighting being vulnerable for so long and got in so much pain that thoughts of going back out were creeping into his mind and that's what we were working on and so what I what we stressed for weeks is to become vulnerable show signs of vulnerability and he's done it and he says I've never felt more connected to other people just by getting vulnerable and I have people that struggle whatever rooms you go in to find recovery. I'm not, I'm not here to point in one way or the other, but I do know that connection has to be a part of whatever room you walk into. And this could be the room of life. If you're not connected to yourself, if you're not starting the process of getting connected to a, a higher power, if you're not con- getting, working on getting connection with other people, you're not going to get into long-term recovery. You're not going to buy into the principles and you're just biding your time. So we can work with biding your time because I think we can work on connection, vulnerability, and authenticity. You get vulnerable, you get connected, and you learn who the authentic self is. And you get in touch with all kinds of things that you are and you stop playing these characters that you've been playing all throughout your life. And so vulnerability starts that whole process. Vulnerability leads to connection, connection leads to authenticity. And when we learn that we we don't have to play these characters, that you are enough and that you are worthy and you can walk and look in the mirror and say, gosh darn it, I am enough and I am worthy. That leads, that's a connection right there. And, you know, there's a promise that says we'll we'll be able to look the world in the eye. Never thought that would ever be possible. It is possible, but it starts with becoming vulnerable and really talking about what's going on. And that starts with the families and that's the clients and that's everyone, that's myself included. I gotta get vulnerable as a, as a coach and as, as a way of empowering families for me to become vulnerable. I have to work on that as well, but it starts with vulnerability to get that connection with the family and the client to trust me. Share an experience, strength, and hope, whatever it may be, knowing you know, two most powerful words in recovery are me too. That's what I can offer. I've been there. I can say me too and mean it. There's a, there's a special connection with another addict alcoholic talking to each other because we know that we've been there. Saying me too, when you haven't, we can pick up on that. We're, we just can't. But the person that you can look in the eye and know that you've been there the same time, it started way back. It's the basis of what recovery and and AA and, and the recovery circles started with was me too. Knowing that someone has to walk through that same path. And so let's get vulnerable enough. Let's just start the little process of slowly getting vulnerable, which leads to this connection, which leads to authenticity. Me too. Me too. I've been there. I know what it's like to live in the pit of addiction. And I also know to be on the other side of it. And that's what's empowering. And these families are in the pit of of desperation. They're addicted to their alcoholic addict. Their lives have been altered according to the addict alcoholic. Are they safe? Have they been arrested? Are they going to overdose? With all these other things. We can work on that by getting both and me success. God bless long-term recovery. Keep keep trudging, keep hustling, keep putting in that hard work. Sober Caddy always will. As always, visit SoberCaddy.com for more information. And uh, Sober Caddy Chronicles are uh, sweeping the internet and all the social media outlets. So look for it. So hope all is well. Peace out.